Hi friends, in this video we're gonna talk about how to create highly customizable Grafana visualizations which do not come out of the box from Grafana using Plotly panel. You can see I've created some date grouped box plots, one box plot and one scatter plot. By default, these plots are not supported by Grafana. So we've used Plotly panel to achieve this visualization. In fact, Plotly panel supports a lot of other visualizations like sunburst plot, 3D plots, etc. So let's get started. By the way, the whole content of this video is present in this blog post. So please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video. If you don't know what Grafana is, Grafana is an awesome visualization and monitoring tool. I've already made a playlist on how to install Grafana and how to use Grafana. So please check out the link of this playlist in the description of this video. So how does a Plotly panel work? So Plotly panel uses Plotly.js visualization library and using that library, you can easily create various types of visualizations. So Plotly.js is this awesome open source plotting library where you can create a lot of visualizations. You can see the examples itself are very good. You have fluid layouts, you have bubble charts, pie charts, box plots, histograms, density plots, heat maps, candlestick charts, 3D charts and much more. So the Plotly Grafana panel uses this Plotly library. Now how to install this Plotly panel in Grafana? So in Grafana, you search for plugins. So in plugins and data, go to plugins. Now you need to search for a visualization plugin called Plotly. So go for Plotly panel. So this is the Plotly panel we are talking about. So click on this. And if you did not install, just click on install. I've already installed it. So I'm seeing the uninstall symbol here. If you did not install, you'll get the install button. Click on that. And just like that, you can have the Plotly panel installed in your Grafana. But obviously this requires internet. And if you want to install the plugin offline, you can even do that. Search for the Grafana Plotly panel online. And this is the page for the Grafana Plotly panel. And here you will have the GitHub page. Go to this GitHub page. And here in the releases section, click on the latest release. And that's it. You can just download the zip file from here. And once you download the zip file, you can paste it in the Grafana plugins folder. The Grafana plugins folder would be in C program files, Grafana labs, Grafana data plugins. And here you should have the Plotly panel folder extracted from the zip file. I've already installed the Plotly panel. That's why I'm already seeing this folder AE3E Plotly panel. So if you want to install offline from the zip file, get this folder and paste it here. The folder should look something like this. And once you pasted the folder, just restart Grafana and you should see Plotly panel installed in your Grafana. So that's it. We have covered how to install Plotly panel through the internet and from offline. Now that we've installed the Plotly panel, how to use it? In a dashboard, while editing a panel, you select the visualization as Plotly panel as shown here. Let's try to do that now. I'm in my Grafana home. Go to the dashboards and here new dashboard. I've just created a new dashboard. I'll just add a visualization. And here select a data source here. You can select any data source for now for demonstration purposes. I will use the Grafana random data data source. And now in the right side, select the visualization as Plotly panel instead of time series. So I'm going to say Plotly panel. Now my visualization is turned into a Plotly panel. By default, they've also given you the script to render the data. There is a small issue with this Grafana version. Instead of giving values dot buffer, if I just give values, the data will come. In your Grafana version, you might want to use values.buffer or values. Experiment it yourself and you will solve the issue. You should either use values.buffer or values. In my case, I need to use values. All right. They've already given you the hint on how to use the Plotly plugin. There is a section called script and here you need to give the data to the chart. Now, just like VS Code, press Alt Shift F and your data would be formatted in this script section. So this script section is actually a function body which would be called by the Plotly plugin. That's why you will be supplied with two variables. One is data and one is the variables. In fact, let's try to log those two. I'm going to console log data and I'm going to console log variables. So let's try to refresh this panel again and go to the console. And now I got two things. One is the data and one is the variables. The data variable is basically the data fetched from your queries. So here in my Grafana, I got one query called A and that query returns the time series data. You can have multiple queries like A, B, C or you can have multiple queries. And when the Grafana dashboard fetches the data, 
the plotly panel will get the data in the data variable so the data variable is pretty straightforward if you expand this you have a thing called series and each series has a name in ref id and there are fields and in the fields you have two things first list is the time series where you have times and the second list is the values so basically this is the x-axis values and this is the y-axis values and let's see the values here in fields of zero you got timestamps as milliseconds and in the second member of the fields you got the values in the values so that's why to get the values of the timestamps you say data series 0 field 0 dot values and to get the values you say data dot series of 0 fields 1 dot values if you have multiple queries suppose if I have a second query like query B instead of getting from series 0 you get from series 1 so basically series refers to the query and fields refers to the x and y axis values where the zeroth field item would be timestamps and the first field item would be the values so this is how you can access the data and now this data can be used to create your plotly plots and there are the variables these are the global grafana variables like what is the start time what is the end time which is selected by the user for example here are the last six hours if I change it to something like last 12 hours the from and to would be changed so this way the variables variable will contain grafana variables and the data variable will contain the data fetched by your grafana queries once you get hold of these two variables now you just use this data to create your plots so the bottom line is data contains the data variable contains the grafana variables all right let's proceed to creating the plot a plotly panel script should return a javascript object with attributes data layout and config layout and config are optional but if you don't give data you don't get the data being plotted on the plot so that's why here we are returning a variable called data and layout if I change this layout title equal to my plot it's being updated here so basically you can return three object attributes one is data one is layout and the other attribute is config where you can control some high level things like you want to show the mode bar or not what is the scroll behavior etc in layout you control the visual things other than the data like the title the margins the x-axis y-axis things etc and the data contains the main data that will be plotted in this plot as you can see the data is the plot data and it's a list of traces each trace is basically a line on this plot or in the scatter plot something like that so each trace is a visualization which you can plot in a plotly plot for example let me copy this query a then i'll create this query b so let's create another trace i'll just say it trace 2 and it will contain the second series data so it will be data dot series of 1 and it would also be data dot series of 1 and instead of returning one trace we'll also return trace 2 so refresh this now we get two traces trace 0 and trace 1 so the bottom line is data is basically the plot data layout is the visual things other than the plot data like title margins x-axis spacing etc etc and data is basically the plot data which is a list of traces and each trace is a visualization on the plotly plot now if i go back to the dashboard you can see my plot is updating so that's basically it just by returning data layout and config from your script you can create your plots in the plotly panel you can access the data using the data variable and if you want to access the grafana variables you can use the variables variable and that's all now you know how to create a plot in the plotly panel but hey this is not what we signed up for we wanted a scatter plot we wanted a box plot etc etc right well plotly.js is really famous and a lot of people already know how to use plotly but if you don't know how to use plotly you don't need to learn it just go to the plotly.com slash javascript and you have already a lot of examples just take one example and modify it as per your need that's all for example let me try to create a scatter plot of the two queries that means i have a query a i have a query b i want to omit the timestamps and just take the values of a and b and create a scatter plot from that how can i do that well go to the scatter plot and here i'm seeing a simple example let's use that they have created two traces but i need only one trace so how does the trace look like you have x y the mode is markers the type is scatter 
you can give it a name the text is not required for our case and you can give the marker size remove the trace to from my data I just want a single trace and so the x value of a trace would be series zeros values so series 0 field 1 of value and the y values would be the second series values as a second query value so it would be series 1 fields 1 of values I don't want this trace remove this and rename this as trace and I don't want this text also I can remove this name I don't want the name also and I think we should be good to go let's try to refresh this yeah you got a scatter plot but the markers are too big let's try to make the markers as size and go here the one thing you can see here the x-axis is timestamp I don't want the x-axis to be timestamp let me make it numbers remember you can control the non data part using the layout right you have an attribute called x-axis and here in the x-axis you can have type and that's linear for numeric things you have to have the type as linear and again alt shift f the formatting is good now let's try to see again now you got the numbers here now how do I know to change the type of x-axis is like this well you need to refer the documentation or do Google search and in our blog post we've also given the layout options in this hyperlink let's go here and here in the layout x-axis I also have an attribute called grid color and there is something called grid width let's try to use this to control how my grid looks like so I'm adding two more things which is grid color and grid width so let's try to refresh this again you can see the x-axis grid has become a little lighter and leaner let's try to copy this and do the same for y-axis also the same thing happened with y-axis also now this is not possible out of the box in Grafana right just by creating a plotly panel and using the plotly script you can create whatever visualization you want using plotly now as promised let's try to see these three visualizations which we have shown at the beginning of this video so let's see the scatter plot which we have shown at the beginning of this video here we did the same thing mode markers type scatter and I've used the market size as 3 but here in the layout I've changed the font family and color and here I'm also giving other properties like paper background color and plot background color so the background color is changed actually and I've said show legend equal to false so that's why you're not seeing a legend at the right side and as usually we should return the data and layout so it's that simple now let's let's see how I did this box plot let's try to edit this panel I have selected plotly panel and let's try to see our script I've created three queries here Acme, Wimsy and Starlight so we're getting the data of these three companies and we're taking the values and creating a box plot to see the variation in their stock prices over time so I'm iterating through all the series that's why I've said data.series.length I'm creating the list of X datas and I'm creating a list of Y datas. So for each X data, I'm getting the data fetched, getting the Y values and the X data would be actually the name of the company. So X data would be just the reference ID, which is the name of the company. So that's how I got the list of names and the list of values for which the blocks plot will be plotted. And there's the list of colors, which I will use. And now I created a list of traces and I'm iterating through each company which is X data and creating a trace for each company so a trace is basically a box plot so that's why type is box the Y data is the Y data of that company Y data of I the name and I'm selecting the box point as outlier that means the outliers will be shown as dots and this is some jitter and whisker width this is the settings for the box plot and this is the marker size and line size so once I create the trace, I push it to the traces data variable and that would be ultimately used as the data variable. And here for the layout, I've changed the text and font of the title. I've set some y-axis settings, the same thing basically. I've changed the grid color, grid width, and I've said the type is linear. But this time the x-axis type is category because this is string x-axis. And I've given some margin so that it looks good. And I changed the paper color, plot color, and I'm saying that the legend should not be shown and ultimately we are returning the data and layout so that's how we got this by the way the script for scatter plot box plot and the day grouped box plot is present in the blog post you can directly copy paste and use in your grafana visualizations so check out the blog for the source code now let's see the day wise stock prices of acme 
here we are fetching the data for a single company and grouping it by day and showing the day wise box plot so we need to do some programming here so let's try to edit this and now let me share you a best practice what i do is instead of writing the code in this script you can use a code editor like vs code write your javascript comfortably here and then paste it in the script input so let me share with you how i achieve this logic since i'm iterating only with the first series i will take the data of series of 0 and fields of 0 dot values so this is basically the timestamps fields of 0 means timestamps right so i'm taking all the timestamps and i'm grouping them by the date so how i did that was i took a date dictionary and the keys of the dictionary would be the date strings so for each timestamp value i will format it as a string and the string format would be year month day this is a simple javascript function that does that now that we got our date key we need to get the values for the date right so for each series value i will throw the value in the relevant date bucket if the date bucket exists you push the value into that list and if the date bucket doesn't exist create a bucket with that value and that's it now you get a dictionary where the keys of the dictionary are the date and the value for each day is the list of y values which we will plot so now we got our date dictionary so the x data would be simply the date dictionary's keys which would be object.keys of date dictionary dot sort the sorted dates and the y value would be the values of the keys right so for each key you just return the date dictionary of that key so you got the x data you got the y data and you just need to create a box plot now i initialize the traces data and for each x data that means for each date the name is the date and the y value is y data of the date and the type is box plot the box points is outlier that means along with box you will see outliers as dots and this is some simple visual settings and that's how you got your traces and this is some layout settings the same thing the x-axis y-axis paper color background color etc and ultimately you return the data and the layout so using this simple script i was able to group the series by date and create a box plot for those values grouped by date now that i have created the script i will copy the script and paste this in the script section and if you refresh this you will get the data notice that since our box plot mode is outlier you can see some dots for this purple one because it has outliers with this example it should be evident that you can apply any user logic to the data you got which is not just simple transformations you might want to apply some application logic on the data you fetched and do the visualization and plotly gives you a very easy interface in the form of this script where you can manipulate the data before you actually plot it we have just touched the tip of an iceberg plotly js is amazing and there are plenty of options of visualizing the data here for example let's see this 3d surface plot you can even interact with the plot and see the values how cool is that and you can incorporate this in your grafana dashboards just by writing the relevant script in your script section the whole content of this video is present in this blog post so please be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video also please see the links in the references to study the documentations for further digging in please ask questions or post your valuable feedback in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace